Hi guys, it's Miss B and I'm back with another video. Sorry, I have this voice thing going on. I'm still kind of recovering from this like really bad sickness that I had, so don't mind me. But we're gonna get into this video. This week we're gonna make a Mediterranean quinoa bowl. Now, have you ever heard of quinoa? Do you even know what quinoa is? It's these little itty bitty right there, it almost looks like pasta, but it's a whole grain, it's gluten-free, it's good, great in fiber, like tons of fiber, and we're gonna make a bowl out of this quinoa. So, let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna go through our ingredients. First ingredient, diced pepper, this is like a red and orange striped pepper. This is what I'm gonna use. You can use any, red, you know, red pepper, orange, yellow, green, whatever you want. You could even use a jar of roasted red peppers if that's what you prefer. Next, I have diced cucumbers. Then we have some spinach, which I'm going to put a little olive oil on and put in the microwave for about 30 seconds to make it a little bit soft. Then I have garbanzo beans or chickpeas, depending on what you'd like to call them. Then we have some Kalamata olives. Um, these do not have pits, so you won't um, have to worry about choking on a pit. They are pitless. And then I have some feta cheese. It's crumbled, so it's small. You can see just like that. And then I have my Greek vinaigrette dressing. And finally, I have a 90 second quinoa and brown rice mix that we can microwave to make it a little bit easier for us today. So let's get this recipe started. So since this is the base of my recipe, I'm gonna go ahead and start by microwaving my quinoa and brown rice packet. I've already made a slit right there at the top so it can vent the hot air and I'm just gonna cook it for 90 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit nine, zero, start and let it cook in there. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is my spinach. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Greek vinaigrette. You can also use olive oil. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to pour a little bit on the leaves of my spinach. And then I'm going to take a fork and kind of stir it a little bit just so that every piece of spinach has a little bit of oil on it when this being challenging. It smells so good, oh my God. So here we go, just kind of stir it up a little. It doesn't have to be perfect. It'll all kind of soak in anyway. Okay, then I am going to pop that in the microwave for about 30 seconds and then take it right back out and show you guys. Okay, so you can kind of see how soft the spinach was a little bit softer now. It's not so tough. Now you can absolutely leave the spinach the way it was raw and eat it in this dish. That would be fine, but I just like to dress it up a little bit and turn it into this. The other thing I was gonna tell you is if you wanna take your peppers and add a little bit of water on the bottom of your bowl and pop those in the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute, that would be fine too if you want to soften your peppers a little bit, but I just like them raw and crunchy. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our quinoa that is finished and we're going to start preparing our dish. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to take my quinoa, open up the package and dump it right in. Easy peasy. Like I said, if you want to use regular 
quinoa that would be fine and you just cook it according to package directions. Next I'm going to add some of my red pepper to the dish. You know you can add as much or as little as you like and I'll probably add about that much. Then I'm going to add my cucumber. I'll just pop that in. Okay, perfect. What's great about this is you'll have extra vegetables for salads. If you would like to make a salad, that would be great. I'm gonna add in some cheese. You can add as much or as little. You don't have to use cheese. That would be fine too. Okay, and I'm going to add some of this spinach in here, probably all of it, because I really love the spinach. And you can add the dressing too. That would be fine. Okay, that's added. Now I also have my garbanzo beans. I've rinsed and drained them in a colander. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of those in there can see and then finally here I have some of my olives so we'll just put in a few olives without the juice just the olives no juice okay a few more looks good all right perfect oh that one was stuck okay and then last but not least, I have my dressing. So this is the same dressing I used to cook the spinach. I'm just gonna go ahead, give it a shake, open up the top, whoops. And I'm gonna kinda just start pouring, but you don't wanna pour a lot. You just kinda wanna pour a little bit and then give this a good toss. You want to see how much dressing you're adding. And you don't want to put so much in that you're drowning your dish. And we'll give that looks like the perfect amount to me. Not too much, not too little. And then because the quinoa and the spinach are a little bit warm, you're going to kind of have a little bit of that melting from the feta cheese. All right, then that's that. So I'm gonna put this in a bowl and give it a taste. It looks delicious, so colorful. Okay, I have my delicious dish right here, my Mediterranean quinoa bowl. I'm gonna take a quick bite just to kind of test it out. Mm. Oh my God, it's perfect. It's so good. There's so many flavors. It's so healthy. And it tastes so good. So I hope that you guys try to make this delicious dish. If you do, let me know. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next week with another video. Take care. Bye.